it's amazing. It's an amazing plugin for integrating social media into your WordPress site. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you real quick. I want you to buy this plugin if you are using WordPress.org, if you're using the hosted version of WordPress, and you try to integrate social into your content strategy. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you real quick here. I want you to see this. So what happens is in WordPress, you go in, you set up all of your content like normal. You can be in control 100% of how your stuff appears in social media. So when you use the social warfare options, I mean, this is just one aspect of it, but you can upload exactly what image you want when you, people share your post on social media. So none of this guessing game like with uh, Facebook where it posts the wrong image, you can upload so it posts the right image. It even tells you right here what the dimensions are you should create it at. You can dictate what you want the social media title to be, once, what you want the social media description to be. This one's really, really cool. I've started using Pinterest a lot. Well, right here, you can dictate what you want the Pinterest image to be. And why that's important is because you'll notice this is 16 by 9, but you'll notice that this is 2 by 3 aspect ratio. So you can upload an image that's optimized for Pinterest. So when people pin your posts, it'll show up in Pinterest in an optimized fashion. You can set the Pinterest description. This is really, really cool. You can create a custom tweet so when people use the social sharing tools on your um, WordPress site, when they click tweet, it'll pop up with a pre-populated tweet, which makes it really, really quick for them to post. And then you can say where you want it to uh, appear. So let me show you what this looks like on the front end. Their, uh, their buttons, the social sharing buttons are actually really cool too. I really, really like them a lot. So when you are looking on the, on the live site right here, and you'll see these are what the buttons look like. They're just gorgeous. And there's about eight different customizations. You can have these be black and white. You can have them be color outlined. Um, you can have them show the numbers right away. You can have them show the numbers after a certain amount of shares. Shows the social proof right here, which is really important. And when you start scrolling, you'll notice they pop up down here at the bottom too. See that? And I come back up and then they disappear. So let me show you a few other options here. Let me go into the uh, plugin, um, the plugin uh, configuration. So this is what it looks like when you go in. You got display settings, visual settings, click to tweet, link shortening, analytics, all of these awesome, awesome tools. So right here is basic settings. You can say where you want the buttons to show up, above the content, below the content, both above and below, or none. Location on pages, I say none right now. Location site-wide, I say none. Would you like to be mentioned in tweets? So when someone clicks tweet, it will actually populate your username. Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, those are your options. Um, show total network shares, which that's what I was showing you with that 19. Show individual network shares, so like shared 10 times on Facebook, shared 12 times on Twitter, that's it. Minimum number of shares required before showing count. So if there's one share, you may not want to show that. So I've said it here. After there's five total shares between all of the networks, show the total share count. And then right here, you drag and drop the order that you want these to appear in. It's really easy. So then back up here, if you go to visual options, this is really where it gets cool. You can tell it how you want them to appear. See, just got a little leaflet design right there. You could say shift. See how the shift works? You could say pills. You can say three-dimensional. So you can't really see right here, but it's three-dimensional now. And then you can do connected where they're all together, right? So I do flat and fresh. And then right here, decimals, zero. Total count format, no button right, no button left inside a button. So see right there, no button right. Floating share buttons, that was the one that appeared down at the bottom when I was uh, scrolling, and it says float position, bottom of the page, floating background color. When you go to click to tweet, it's really cool. You can set the way you want it to look. So this is the way I have it set look, just a classic look. You can say make it italicized, you can say do a blue background, or you can say do it this black and, and red background. So you can change the way the, uh, the um, click to tweet looks. So like this shows up as is right here shows up in your post and people can click and tweet. It makes it easy. Uh, it has UTM, 
built into it. So if you're tracking all of your analytics and seeing where people are coming from, it has UTM built into it. So whenever somebody clicks on um, a tweet or a Facebook post that was shared from my site, it tells me that social warfare brought that back. And then there's uh, help frequently asked questions, right? Really easy stuff right there. Contact form, um, advanced usage. This is if you wanna actually integrate it into your WordPress template. Um, so it's a really, really great plugin, guys. You really should um, consider getting this. If you're, if you're, only if you're serious about your website and social media and building your brand. If you're not serious about it, if you really don't care, don't don't worry about this. But if you're serious, Box is a small price to pay to be able to control the way your website, the way your social media branding appears. And that's really the value here. You are in control, not the other people, not Facebook, not Twitter. You are in control of the way your brand is portrayed on social media. So I've got all my content here, right? And I'm using the Enfold theme by Cressy. It's awesome. Um, so I've got all my content right here. So see, all my content right here. Scroll down. And I loaded up my 4th of July thing right there. Share awesome 4th content with your social media audience, okay? You can upload multiple images if you want to give people an opportunity to choose which image they want. I just uploaded one. I customized the title for 4th of July content, customized the description. So when someone clicks share on Facebook, this is the title, this is the description, and this is the image. And then I customized the Pinterest image, right? I didn't put a description. I probably should have. And then right here, I wrote my custom tweet. Whoa, tons of content to share related to the 4th of July. This is social media made easy and below the content. So there you go, guys. If you want to check it out, shrine.co slash s warfare. That's how you can get to the post. Um, that's how you can get to the social warfare plugin website. Um, and you can download um, and give it a shot. It's really, really great. So again, only if you're serious. If you're not really serious about growing your audience and being in control of your social media, don't worry about it. But if you are, it's something that you want.